Hey Brahmas, my name is Mario, one of the librarians. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find peer-reviewed sources. Starting in the library's website, you're going to see OneSearch, which is a search engine that looks across all of our databases at the same time. I'm going to choose the topic Black Lives Matter and click search. OneSearch is going to pull up a lot of results, eBooks, magazines, newspapers, academic journals, which is why we want to filter a little bit. On the left-hand side, on the resource type, you can see things like articles, books, and other things. But instead of clicking on the filter that says journals, we recommend clicking the filter right above resource type that says scholarly journals. That's all you really need to find peer-reviewed sources. But I like to click on articles too because sometimes review articles get published in scholarly journals, but we only really want articles that are research-based. So by applying those two filters, OneSearch has sorted out and is only showing me articles that are peer-reviewed, which means that they were published in a academic or scholarly journal. If you click on the title of the article, OneSearch shows you the record of the article, but not the article itself. You want to look at the database that's actually hosting the full text for that article. In this case, this article is found in EBSCO Host Academic Search Complete. So if I click on that database, OneSearch is going to open up Academic Search Complete. And if your browser hasn't logged into our databases, it's going to ask you for your student ID number as your username and your passcode is your month and date of birth, four digits. Now, this is Academic Search Complete and I'm seeing the one article that I wanted to pull up. And if I click on the PDF icon or the full text link, that will show me the whole article. But before we do that, I'm gonna click on the title itself because I wanna see the record of that article. And in the record of this article, we can also see some buttons on the right-hand side in this database. And the most useful ones are the email button, which you can use to email yourself a PDF copy of this article. And you can also choose the citation format that you want for this source. And there's also a button that says cite in this database, Academic Search Complete, so you can easily see all the different citation styles in case you wanted to use APA or MLA. To actually open up the full text of this article, we can see on the left-hand side the PDF icon or a full text link. And now we can actually see the entire article as it was digitized from its publication in that specific journal. Now, in the case that you wanted to only search one individual database as opposed to all of one search, you can just type your keywords in Academic Search Complete, which happens to be one of our largest and interdisciplinary databases, which is great for peer-reviewed articles. Now, I'm going to type my keywords once again. And before I start looking at all of the results, I'm going to look on the left-hand side for the filter that reads Scholarly Peer-Reviewed Journals. So by clicking on that little box, this database, Academic Search Complete, will only show me the articles that were published in scholarly journals, and therefore I can be assured that all of these results are peer-reviewed. And once you start looking at them, you're going to see the little icon that says Academic Journal. Now, if you wanted to, for some reason, restrict the publication date of these sources, here in Academic Search Complete, you can easily move this publication date bar. So if I only wanted to look at the last, I don't know, 10 years of publications, I can do that. And so therefore I can filter my results even more by limiting only the articles that were published in the last 10 years. And you can do such thing also in OneSearch Right here, there is a publication date feature. So if I only wanted to look at articles from 2010 to 2020, 
I can easily click on refine. And once again, I'm guaranteed that I'm only looking at peer reviewed articles published in the last 10 years. Well, there you go. If you need any more help finding sources, please remember that you can always start a chat with a real librarian in our homepage.